You can have a reporter out here in 20 minutes with cameras asking why you're persecuting an innocent handicapped Medal of Honor winner. Perhaps because he's a well-known conservative Republican and you are considering a bid on the Democratic ticket next year. Just to be clear, that was me threatening you. When you look back at this journey, six seasons, and you think to yourself, 100 episodes, what comes to mind? Thank you. I mean, thank you to you guys, because, um, I, I mean, we, we would not be sitting here if it weren't for you guys. Amen. If it weren't for you turning on your televisions, setting your DVRs, getting on Twitter, calling your friends, having your watch parties. You know, we were not a show that was given a full season in the beginning. We had six episodes, and at the end of that first season, we were on the bubble. Who knew if we were going to live or die? And you breathed life into us. So, and you continue to every episode. Carrie Washington, very, very talented actress, best known for her lead role on the ABC drama series Scandal. Never did she think she would be the subject of a 40 plus year scandal herself. For years, she said that she was a proud African American woman, a proud Caribbean woman, telling everyone her father, Mr. Washington, is American. His family migrated to Brooklyn, New York from South Carolina. She said that her mother is from mixed race background and from Jamaica partly English, Scottish, and Native American, but also descended from enslaved Africans in the Caribbean. My mother's parents were born in Jamaica. My parents both have a really strong work ethic, and I think that's part of their own socioeconomic, cultural background. Being African American, being Caribbean American, um, is a huge part of who I am. Carrie was born January 31st, 1977 in the Bronx. Her mom Valerie, a professor, and her father Earl Washington, a real estate broker. Through her mother, she's the cousin of former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell, who was highly respected in America with a Jamaican background as well. In 2019, Carrie was honored with an Artistic Achievement Award at Jamaica's 57th Independence Black Tie Gala in New York, where she said, quote, I am so proud to be Jamaican. I bow down to my lineage, to my heritage, to my history, and to my belonging. Now, a year before she accepted that award in 2018, Carrie was deeply interested in her background, her ancestors, her family that paved the way for her. She had just wrapped up her final season of Scandal, and she told her mom and dad that she was going on the Henry Louis Gates Jr. show, Finding Your Roots a series where celebrities can find information on their ancestors through DNA testing. Gates spoke to her parents as a part of the show's process. They ask a lot of questions and really start digging into your family history. That's when her parents revealed to Gates that her father, Earl Washington, wasn't her real father. They confessed to Gates before they even told Carrie. So Gates advised the Washingtons to go ahead and come clean to her at the time she was 41 years old. They sent the message to Carrie and told her to come sit with them for a conversation where they revealed that Mr. Washington was not her biological father and told her her bio dad was a sperm donor. And so what happened was about five years ago, my parents gave me some new information about myself and our family. And it really kind of turned my world upside down and challenged a lot of the ways that I think about myself and my family. About five years ago, my parents sat me down and gave me some new information about myself that I didn't know, and it really changed the way I thought about myself, about our family. It was, um, it was shocking. We always say that blood is thicker than water, but I think that love is thicker than blood. Carrie went around promoting her book, Thicker Than Water, on multiple shows. It started with a 2020 special hosted by Robin Roberts, featuring Carrie, Mr. and Mrs. Washington. Since, she's appeared on multiple talk shows and was featured in dozens of articles speaking on how this news turned her life upside down and admitting that she always knew there was a disconnect. She sensed a level of distance from her father, although he was right there. And when she found out that he wasn't her biological father, it all made sense. Carrie blamed her not knowing who her real father was for her toxic eating disorder and thoughts of self-deletion. When I first saw Carrie's story, I thought about Kirk Franklin, who recently discovered his biological father 
who lived right down the road from his recording studio and adjacent to a house that one of his sons used to hang out at. Kirk had been lied to for 53 years, and even when confronted with the results twice, his mother still denied it. If you missed that case study, go ahead and watch it after this video. But Carrie was 41 years old with her own husband and children when she found out the truth about her father. 41 years! She's now 46 years old. And you see how she was only told the truth because she was going on a show that was about to expose a lie via DNA testing anyway? This was a secret that her mama kept from her her whole life. And the man she thought was her biological father went along with the lie and accepted the responsibility for another man's child all to protect his wife and her lies. And Carrie, I got another secret for you. I hate to break it to you, but they're still lying. Carrie is going on all of these talk shows saying her mama had her by using a sperm donor. This woman was conceived in 1976. The first IVF baby born in the United States wasn't until 1981. First time in the United States and that was a couple of years after Carrie was born. And technology like that was exclusively reserved for people of high status with money. So everybody is addressing this issue on TV and media from a 2003 lens. But let's go back to 1976. It wasn't common for a black woman from the Bronx to go to a sperm bank anywhere and pick out a donor. That was unheard of. First, they didn't even have many at that time. It was a very, very young concept. One of two things happened. Either her mother got pregnant by a man that she didn't want anybody to know about, and she later met Mr. Washington, who took her and the baby in, had to be very early on in Carrie's life, that's why she didn't remember. Or number two, she was with her husband and cheated on him. But black women weren't using sperm donors in the 70s, so they can just stop with that lie. I don't believe that at all. And is Carrie still naive and believing her mother's lie? Or is she aware of the truth and just putting on her white hat, slipped into her Olivia Pope role, and she's treating her mother's own 46-year-old scandal like a real-life scandal episode? This is supposed to be a very intelligent woman, very intelligent. So I'm very inclined to believe that Carrie knows this is a lie, but she's parading around this lie and control the lie so that she feels better about being lied to for 41 years. And by doing that, she's really protecting her mom while also carrying around the pain, hurt, and deceit that she's experiencing. Not to mention a lie that her mom was preparing to take to her grave, but when all the DNA testing was about to be introduced through the Harry Louis Gates show, she was forced to at least tell Carrie that the man that she thought was her dad for decades wasn't really her dad, but she still continued to lie, saying that her bio dad was a sperm donor and there was no way to contact him. That's because she didn't want Carrie to uncover the rest of the scandal that she's been hiding going on five decades. And not only is Carrie lying for her mom, but Mr. Washington has also been lying for her mother for over 40 years. And now they're going to Robin Roberts all over ABC on several shows, NBC, every major publication where the producers and hosts of these shows are also lying for her mother. And no one even questioned this donor lie. My parents told me that my dad is not my biological father, mm. um, that he, um, that I was born from a sperm donor. Mm -hmm. And so it was, you know, as I said, it was shocking, but there was also something strangely familiar. Mm. There was like a confirmation. Like I, like you I knew, always knew something it. was yes. missing. And this is something that donor kids talk about. I didn't know I was a donor kid up until then, <laughs> but this is something that people, you know, people who are adopted, people who are donor kids talk about a lot. This sense of like, I don't know, something Longing. was up. Something mm -hmm. was up. Something, I wasn't being told something. And I had that sense. So like, what are you talking about? You're a donor kid. I can't get over the lie or how everybody is believing it or acting like they are. As soon as I saw it, I knew something wasn't right. And by the end of the interview, I knew that lie was still alive. And sadly, at this point, Carrie is in on it too. She's highlighting all of this now to sell her book. Although she's a very private woman, I always like that about her. She's got a Nigerian husband. They have two kids together that keep out of the spotlight. She's got a 17-year-old stepdaughter, her husband's child, and I liked how they weren't your typical Hollywood family begging everybody to be in their business and complaining about it. Carrie and her husband, really, really nice family they built. But now that Carrie is exposing her own family business, 
especially her mom's lies and her mom's husband who accepted this woman's lies and protected it for decades. I wonder why she would even tell anybody about this lie just to keep it up. Like if you're gonna tell the truth, tell the truth. Because right now they're trying to get everybody to believe a lie that we didn't even ask for. And no, I don't believe that Carrie is naive. She's a grown intelligent woman. So why would she join in on this? Carrie is very popular and likable. But don't come lying in our faces like your mama lied in yours for over 40 years and expect us to go along with it like her husband. Sorry, I gotta call a spade a spade. No, you are not about to bring Olivia Pope out here. This is some real life scandal gladiator stuff and I'm not down with it. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Carrie admitted that learning about this lie that she believed for so long really turned her life upside down. And she's not the only one. Just like Kirk Franklin, you have a lot of Gen X and millennials uncovering these same painful lies. Special thank you to our brother Robert. I appreciate you Robert for all of your support as well as our brother Dark Power and my sisters Tiffany and Tiffany B. Much love to both Tiffany's. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.